Hi, I'm Andy Parks, technology expert for Wester. Vehicles have never had more features and have been able to do more things than they can right now. But they've also never been more complicated and tough to understand. That's where we come in. Our technology team at Wester will assist you with your vehicle, whether it's at your job, at your home, or here at the store. Anything you need, any questions you have, we're here to help you for free for the life of your vehicle ownership. If you're a busy professional like myself who's always on the road, you can ask Alexa to tell you what your calendar has going on for that day. You can also ask Alexa to play your music. I'll give you an example. Hey Alexa, play some music by Five Iron Frenzy. Shuffling songs by Five Iron Frenzy. It will go through your Amazon Music Library, find you songs that match what you asked for, and play them. One of the most exciting new features in vehicles today is Ford and Lincoln's integration of the Amazon Alexa Digital Assistant. As long as you're running the Sync 3 infotainment system, that same Amazon Alexa helper that you see in the Amazon Echo TV commercials will be available to you while you're driving. The same functionality you see on the commercials, where you can control your smart home, access your calendar, listen to your music, and hear your news alerts, all of that functionality is now available in your Ford and Lincoln vehicles as long as you have the, the Sync 3 infotainment system. The first thing you're going to want to check when making sure your vehicle can handle the Amazon Alexa Assistant is to make sure that you're running the correct software version. You need to be running Ford Sync 3 version 2.2 or higher. To check that out you would go to Settings, General, About Sync and it'll tell you right there you're running software version 2.3 this is more than updated enough to handle Alexa. Your next step is gonna to be to make sure that your phone is paired to your infotainment system with Bluetooth. So let's do that now. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. The means by which Alexa connects to your vehicle depends on what kind of phone you have. If you have an Android phone, you can use Alexa wirelessly with Bluetooth. If you have an iPhone, you have to be physically plugged in with the iPhone lightning cable. Once you have all the correct apps downloaded and your phone is paired and you're appropriately connected, whether it's with an iPhone cable or through an Android Bluetooth connection, you can tap on the apps button on the bottom row of your Sync 3 system and you should see Ford plus Alexa on screen. Once you've gotten to this point, you can go over to audio again. You can listen to your music, do what you'd like to do. When you want to use Alexa, you can choose sources and Alexa will show up as an audio source. You've got your AM, FM, Sirius XM, CD, Bluetooth connection, and now Ford plus Alexa. So to use Alexa, you would tap on the Ford plus Alexa icon under your entertainment sources, and it'll ask you, do you want to enable mobile apps on sync? You'll say yes, and it'll tell you mobile apps are enabled. Amazon's Alexa assistant can do all sorts of different things in the vehicle. You can ask her to tell you a joke. You can ask her about the weather. You can ask her about the news or for a sports update. I'll give you an example. Alexa, give me my sports update. Here is your sports update. In football, on Sunday the Bills lost to the Jaguars. Now the more connected you are to the Amazon ecosystem of functionality, the more Alexa can do. So if you don't have an Amazon Echo at home with the Alexa Assistant, that's okay. You can still use the Alexa Assistant in your vehicle. If you do have Amazon's Alexa Assistant at home, you can do more things in the car. For instance, if you have a smart home setup, you can ask Alexa to turn your lights on at home or to open your garage door. You can ask it to do all, any of the smart home functions that you have at home in the vehicle as long as you have that pre-existing smart home ecosystem established. The more you're connected with Amazon's ecosystem of um, Kindle audiobooks, smart home integration, um, even having your calendar hooked up, all of those things are going to give Alexa more functionality. But even apart from that, if you're starting from zero, Ford and Alexa is going to do a whole lot toward making you connected to your vehicle while keeping your eyes on the road and keeping you safe at the same time. Your Ford system doesn't need necessarily to be upgraded for new functionality to populate. The apps get updated automatically from your phone and the functionality upgrades are instant once you get in the car. Um, it's the first time in history that you can have a vehicle with 25 features when you buy it that ends up with 35 features when you're done with it. More and more cars are adding features during a vehicle's lifetime rather than just waiting for a new model year. And it's really exciting. 
you can always contact one of the technology specialists for help. We're available to you anytime, as for as many times as you need us, over the entire life of your vehicle. It doesn't matter whether you've had it for two weeks or two years, we're here to help. So if any questions come up, any issues, problems, or you just wanna know what's new, give us a call, we'd be happy to talk you through it.